Hello YouTube, I'm Brooklyn and this is my tutorial on how to create this HUD I made in my one cap edit. So I will also show you show you how to motion track it on the scope. So it's actually pretty easy, just using some solids and a bit of keyframing, so nothing special. You don't need any plugins or whatever. You can just open After Effects and start. So first of all, make sure to check out my one clip edit. It will definitely be in the description below, so you can watch what the heart looks like in a video before you watch the tutorial. So that's it. Okay. So we can start with the tutorial. So first, create a new composition and we will set it to 720 by 720 and 10 seconds so okay now we need um, the ellipse tool so double click it so okay okay double click it okay now and we will first Disable the fill so there's a black fill you can't see it but there's one so disable this and now there's only the white stroke so that's fine now we need to scale it down to 90% you can open up scale if you press S on your keyboard so now we have one circle but we need three so just duplicate it two times now we will go to the shape layer 2 and we will scale it to 80% and shape layer 3 we will scale it we will scale it to 85% so now we need the middle circle so shape layer 3 so just go to contents ellipse stroke and now we will set the stroke width to 29% now we need to double click the plus at dashes so it will create a gap and a dash and we will change both to 400 so we have like three parts as I had in my one clip edit so that's it now we need to add a rotation a movement for that we need to open up rotation by pressing R on your keyboard and it will open up rotation and we will keyframe it so keyframe it go to the end of your composition and set it to 8x now we have a rotation a movement and now we are done with creating the hut there's only the motion tracking on the scope left so go to your composition of your clip and I already trickstered it, so first trickster it if you want to use it with trickster or don't. <coughs> and we will drag the composition into your timeline. And now we have the hut in your composition. And we will make it the right size and give it the right position. So just try a bit you can't use my settings by the way because the scope will be different at your edit so you have to tr play a bit around with the settings but okay that's fine for me now we go forward one second oh no first first we will go to the beginning again and we will keyframe the scale and the position so press as a P on your keyboard and keyframe the position also and back to scale okay now we can go forward one second and we will again make it bigger and give it the right position one second forward again again a bit bigger and give it the right position Maybe 37 and again so 
So that's it. Just go forward one second, track it and go forward again one second and track it again and so on and so on. So just do this in your whole edit if you want and it will look like this. So that's okay for me. I can't do it that accurate because I don't have that much time but you can do it better. So you can also change the color that's up to you but I will just, just keep it white and with a color correct, a correction it will look much better. So that's basically it. Now we have the hut and it's tracked so if you like my tutorial please leave a like and a comment and also follow me on Twitter so I'm posting daily and you can give me some tutorial tutorial request if you think I'm good <laughs> and sorry for my English I'm from Germany so it really sucks but I hope you could understand everything and yeah that's it I'm out bye he said son have you seen the world well what would you say if I said that you could just carry this gun You'll even get paid I said that